hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i made this simple midi pencil skirt without that yes this skirt does not have any that in front and also doesn't have any that at the back and you can see how it's sitting pretty on my body without any fold so this is what the back looks like it has it has a band on the waist and a zipper at the back you can see the slit also so i achieved this style using two yards of ankara fabric so if you want to know how i made this simple skirt without a dance keep watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so for this skirt i made use of two yards of ankara fabric and then i have my rulers here my scissors my pattern paper and my marker so we'll be dressing out first on the pattern paper for more clarity and accuracy of measurement before we transfer to the fabric so we'll be drafting out the front panel first and i have my pattern paper here in a fold of two so if you're cutting directly on your fabric you fold your fabric with the wider circumference of your body which is your round hip measurements divided by four and then go ahead to add extra three inches to it just like i did with this pattern paper so i have about 14 inches here on fold so the first thing we want to do is to mark out a starting line at the top of the paper so this is going to be the waistline where we'll be taking all the vertical measurements from so from this line i'm going to go ahead and place my waist to my hip so from my waist to my hip is nine inches so i'm going to go ahead and mark nine inches there and then from my waist to my knee is 22 inches so this measurement is very very important to make your pencil skirt come out really nice so go ahead to take your waist to your knee so i'm going to go ahead and mark 22 inches for mine and then to the full length of my skirt is that 30 inches but i'm going to add two extra inches to it for folding my um lining for turning my lining so i'll go ahead now and extend these lines horizontally so after extending let's go ahead to label the lines down so the next thing we want to do is to place our own body measurement so we're going to be taking all the measurements from the closed angle of the paper which is the center front so on the waistline i'm going to place my round waist measurements divided by four and then i'll add 1.5 inches to it for my seam allowance on the hip line i'll place my round hip measurements divided by four plus 1.5 inches making 13 inches and then on the knee line i'm going to subtract two inches from what i have on my hip line I'll subtract two inches there to give it that tapered look on the knee area so i'll place 11 inches on the knee area i'll go ahead to mark 11 inches there and then on the full length of the skirt i'll be marking the same 11 inches i have on my knee line there but if you want yours to be more tapered again you can take one inch out of it and mark 10 inch so i'll go ahead now to connect the points together so I'll use my hip cuff to connect the waistline to the hip line this way. And then I'll connect the hip line down to the knee line in the form of a slant this way. And then from the knee line to the full length of the skirt with a straight line. So after connecting all the points this is what we have so you can see the shape of the pencil skirt coming out really beautiful already this is what we have so i'll come over now to the center front and just come down by 0 0.5 inches so this is going to make your skirt sit well in front to so sit well in front and i'll connect it to meet the other side this way so after doing that this is what we have so let's go ahead to cut it out So after cutting out this is so before we draft out the back panel i'll go ahead and take out 1.5 inches on the waistline of my skirt this is going to be for my band so my band height is 1.5 inches so i'll go ahead and remove the 1.5 inches from my on pattern and then i'll just connect the two points together this way and then i'll cut out the waistband so this 1.5 inches i just removed now is going to be for my waistband this is what we have after cutting out so for the back panel i folded my pattern paper into two as you can see this is the fold of two and i placed my front panel on it 
so the back panel is going to have 1.5 inches zipper allowance on the closed angle as you can see and then i'm going to replace the 0.5 inches i took out from the front panel waistline so i'm just going to come up by 0.5 inches in that area and then i'll connect it down to meet the waistline so i'll just extend it to meet the zipper allowance or further extend it to meet the zipper allowance this way so the next thing to do now is to cut out the back panel And then I'll open up the center front before I cut the lower part. So I've used my patterns to cut out my fabric and this is what it looks like. So I added about half an inch to the upper part for attaching my waistband. And I've also cut out the lining. As you can see, I cut out the lining. But my lining is two inches shorter than my um, fabric because I'm going to be using my fabric to turn it over. So I'm going to explain to you guys how to turn it over as we proceed so after removing the pattern paper this is what it looks like this is the front panel so as you can see the lining is shorter than the fabric because we're going to be using the fabric to turn over the lining so you can see it's two inches shorter so the first thing you want to do now is to pull the lining down to the full length of your skirt so i'm going to just pull the lining down make sure it's facing the right side of your fabric by the way your lining should be facing the right side of your fabric and then i will stitch it all the way down on the lower part I'll do the same thing for the back panels. I will join the lower part and then after joining, I'm going to show you guys the next thing to do. So after stitching down the lower part, this is what it looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do is to pull up my lining this way to meet the waistline of my skirt. So I'll pull it up this way to meet the waistline of my skirt and then I'll go ahead to iron out the lower part. So iron it out very well after pulling up. Then after ironing, go ahead now to stitch down the sides all the way down. Close it up on that side and also close it up on the other side using half an inch. Just close it up all the way down. And So make sure you iron it first before closing up the sides to get a very neat finishing. And then I'll close up the upper part as well using a quarter of an inch. And then I'll leave one part open for turning over. So after using the lining to turn over the front and the back panels, this is what it looks like. So I've gone ahead to turn it over to the right side and I also ironed it. So this is one side of the back panel. This is the other side. You can see how neatly finished it looks. And this is the front panel also. So I turned it over, I ironed it and I closed up the points I used to turn over. So this is what we have. So I'm going to set the front panel aside now while we work on the back panel. So I'm going to place them right sides facing each other. So remember we took out 1.5 inches for our zipper allowance and we've turned over with half inch. So right now we're left with 1 inch. So I'm going to determine where I want my zipper to stop. Considering the 1.5 inches waistband, I'm going to make my zipper stop 10 inches from the waistband area. And then I'll mark it there. And then from that point, I'll come down by 10 inches. So I'll mark the 10 inches there and this is the point where my slit is going to start from. So I'll just connect the points together this way. So this is the only part I'll be sewing at the back panel. I'll stitch it all the way down to that point. So the upper part is going to be for the zipper and the lower part is going to be for the slit. So let me go ahead to do it. So after joining the back panels together, this is what it looks like. So this is the zipper opening and then this is the slit opening. So I went ahead to stitch down the slit to one side. So I just stitched it down facing one side so, and then I ironed it out very well as you can see to keep it stable. So when you turn it to the right side, this is what it's going to look like. So the slit is going to overlap on it this way. It's going to overlap this way. So the next thing I want to do is to join the front and the back panel together. So I just used my pins to close up the zipper points. So I'm going to place the back panel on the front panel this way and just arrange it out. So remember that when drafting our pattern, we took out 1.5 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out that same 1.5 inches all the way down to the full length. And then I'll connect it up this way. I'll do the same thing for the other side and then I'll stitch it all the way down. So you can use your pins to secure it first before stitching. So when I'm done doing that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So after joining the sides and turning over, this is what it looks like. So you can see our skirt is coming out beautiful already. 
so this is what the back looks like as well so the next thing we want to do now is to cut out our band so to get the length of band you'll be needing go ahead to cut, measure what you have all around the waistline so i'll just take my tape roll now and measure what i have all around the waistline so just go ahead to measure what you have all around the waistline so i have about 40 inches here so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the waistband that is 40 inches long i'll iron my gun stay on it and then i'll show you guys how to attach it so i've gone ahead to cut out my waistband and it's in a fold of two and i iron gum stay to it just to make it more stable so for the height of the waistband we have 1.5 inches on fold and i also folded in half an inch to make um attaching to the waist of the skirt easier and neater so when you are cutting your band if you are working with a 1.5 inches band you're going to cut four inches in total so that you can fold it in this way so the next thing you're going to do is to fold your waistband into two equal sizes this way and then mark the midpoints just use your chalk to mark the midpoints on both sides and then for the waist of the skirt the front panel go ahead to fold it into two also and then mark the uh, midpoint on both the right side and on the wrong side so right now i'm going to uh, attach my waistband to the waist of my skirt so i'll place the wrong side of my skirt facing the right side of my waistband this way and then i'll match the midpoint i marked together i'll match the midpoints together this way and i use my pin to just secure it so, so after doing that i'll go ahead to join the waistband to the waist of my skirt using that half an inch i'll open it up this way i'll open that part i folded this way and just join it all the way around the waistline and then when i'm done doing that i'm going to use the other side of my band to close it up this way I'll close up the seam this way on the right side and then using a matching thread I'll stitch it all the way around it covering up the seam the initial seam so when I'm done attaching the waistband I'll show you guys what it looks like so after attaching the waistband this is what it looks like this is the wrong yeah. side and this is the right side so this is what the back also looks like so the last and final thing we want to do now is to attach our zipper to the skirt so this is the zipper i'll be working with so i'll go ahead to just open it this way so after i open i'll place it on the zipper allowance this way and then i'll turn over to the other side as you can see me doing so i'll fold in this upper part and then i'll use my my pins to hold it down just as you can see me doing in the video Just use your pins to hold it down, taking, making sure you're taking the right zipper allowance. After holding it down, I will turn the other side also this way. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll turn it this way and then I'll use my pins to hold it down. So after holding it down with my pins, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch it all the way down. I stitch all to do all the way down to the point where I um stopped my zipper allowance. I'll do the same thing for the other side. I'll stitch it all the way down. So when I'm done stitching, by the time I close it up, it's going to look like this. Let's look this way. So when I'm done attaching the zipper, I'll iron it out and show you guys the finished product of the skirt. So after inserting the zipper at the back, this is what it looks like. So you can see how neat it came out and how easy it is to achieve. And this is what the front also looks like. So this is where we'll end this video for today, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, share with your loved ones. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.